Hey everyone, how you guys doing? I got your nephew Izzy with me, you guys, and we are going to be doing a tag. I am super excited because I recently, I feel his little heartbeat, I recently discovered this channel. We've been following each other on Instagram, but she recently started watching the channel, you guys, so it is all about Reborn Nora. I'm going to put some pictures of her um, information up right now, you guys, so you can See where you can go find her here on YouTube as well as on Instagram. So that is her information. He is so cute. I am loving him in this sleeper. You gonna show your TTs? You gonna show your TTs? Okay, man. He is such a busybody. He moves all the time. He tries to pull. He pulls at my shirt. He pulls on my ears. If he can, if I have him on my shoulder, he pulls at my hair. He is such a busybody. Say hey, TTs. I don't know how he likes the camera yet. Because y'all know Toy loves seeing herself in the camera. So here's baby Izzy, and he is going to be with me. He's looking at his toys. I have his toys. <laughs> so he's going to be with me doing this tag, you guys. Super, super excited. I know I'm late. <laughs> um, like I said, I just discovered her channel, but she did this tag about four months ago. So I'm doing it now because I think it is really, really nice. I um, hand wrote the questions and my notes and everything like that, but I was like, I can't read my writing. I was trying to hurry. So I typed everything up, you guys. So let's get started. <laughs> okay, question number one. Would I give up my favorite reborn baby for a different one? No, absolutely not. Never, ever. Not gonna happen. No. All my babies right now are forever babies. I am loving them immensely. Okay, so question number two. What feelings do my reborn, reborn babies give me? So, they have always made me happy. Very, very happy. But some feelings have changed slightly and evolved over the years as my, as my life has changed. So let me hold my notes so I can see better. <laughs> Toy brings me fullness as I got her at a time when I didn't have a baby and I did desire a baby. That's why her name is Toy Desiree. She's a toy, but I desired a real baby. And um, she was there for me when my husband went on his first deployment. My husband was gone for 11 months. And that was my very first time living alone. I went from my mother's house to my husband's house. So I have never lived alone I've never lived alone. So she was there for me during that time frame as well as my fur babies. And it was just, I am so grateful that she was there for me because this hobby, you know, in the beginning, it is all consuming. So I was all consumed with toy as well as my fur babies. I would take them out. I would take them to the doctor. We would go to puppy parks and things like that. So that 11 months, it didn't fly by, but it was more tolerable and more bearable. <laughs> because I did have Toy. And now, Toy has turned into Daddy's favorite. Yes, Hubby Daddy is really, really, really serious about his Toy Toy. <laughs> Sky and Jay, they bring me calmness because I just like to look at them and dress them. They're so calm and serene, their little sleeping faces. So that is what they do for me. Um, I love taking pictures with them and dressing them and trying new poses with them. Um, they're sleepers, so I, do, so I don't do much role play, but I really, really enjoy them just the same. Now, Izzy, this one right here, he brings completeness and wonder for me. Um, now that I have him, I have an open-eyed boy and an open-eyed girl, as well as a sleeping boy and a sleeping girl. So I think that kind of rounds out everything for me, and I really, really like that. And just looking at him... His eyes, I just see wonder in them. He makes me want to, you know, create a personality for him. I want to see what his temperament is. And just, we just look at, look at each other in our eyes. We just do that. Whenever I hold him, I hold him just like this. And he looks at me and I look at him and I just see wonder in his eyes. In my mind, I see him just growing up and just being great. So that's what he does for me. I am very content. I know I've just got him, but I am very content with all my babies. Um, four, I think, is a good round number for me, even though my favorite number is eight. 
but I can't do eight babies even though I want them. I see a plethora of kits that I really, really like and would like to have, but because of the way I like to thrift and storage and space, I don't think I can do more than four. So right now I'm really, really content. Question number three, why am I so passionate about my reborn babies? Okay, so it may be maternal instinct, especially um, initially with Toy. I wanted to give Toy the world. I wanted to give Toy all the clothes, all the shoes, all the bottles, all the pacifiers. I wanted just everything she could have. I wanted it for her. And um, I wanted her to have a stroller. I wanted her to have a nice bed because initially when I got her, um, back in the day, we used to make beds for our reborn babies out of um, laundry baskets. So she had a laundry basket. But I was on the hunt for her a bassinet, and I found her a bassinet. So I'm really, really happy about that. Um, I wanted to do nursery decor. I wanted everything for her. Initially, her nursery was in my closet. So I just had um, a couple of decor pieces on the wall opposite of my clothes so that was her nursery and I enjoyed it back then but now the babies have more space so I just enjoy it immensely um her smile toy smile makes me smile I can't be upset I can't be stressed I can't be anything negative in her presence she just makes me smile just looking at her her happy face you guys know I have a thing with Smiling babies, this one, that little smile. You gonna smile for your TTs? He, he don't want to. There, look. <laughs> He's so funny. So, I want to make her happy. So, holding her, feeding her, changing her, taking pictures of her, doing videos of her. To me, that made her happy. So, I wanted to do everything to make her happy because she makes me so happy. And that love... And wanted to do everything for my babies just continued with each baby that I got I just spoil them and I just love them and they just love me right back um, to me they are mine and I am there so in this hobby they just we complete each other we complement each other I just think it is just so great it's so great so that's why I'm so passionate about it um, they're mine I mean I love them <laughs> I don't know how else to phrase that, you guys. And also, um, the babies feed my creative side. I like to create things. I like to think of new things and stuff like that. So doing new videos and thinking of new video ideas with the babies, that is just awesome to me as well. Question number four. With multiple reborn babies, do I feel the same about all of them? I do. I love all my babies. I love all my babies. I mean, dearly, I love them. Like, Raja, to me, my fur baby Raja is people. So they're right under Raja. I mean, right under her. <laughs> yeah, I love them immensely. So um, maybe I love Toy a little bit more because she was my very first baby. And maybe I love him a little bit more because he's so new. But I love them all dearly. I don't treat them all the same because they're all different. They all have different personalities. They all have different things they like, different things they don't like. So I think that is really, really cool being able to role play with them and interact with them each differently. Let's see. Toy and Izzy are open eyes, so they're more giggly and playful. So that's how I interact with them. And Jay and Skye are sleeping. They sleep a lot. So those are the babies that I just cuddle and snuggle with, and especially Jay. The way Jay is weighted, he's perfect for cuddling. He has all his weight in his little boom boom. I just love holding him. I love holding him. Question number five. If I had to use just one word to describe my reborn babies, what would it be? My word would be everything. My reborn babies are everything to me. I absolutely love this hobby. I love my babies and I love all the people that I interact with in Dolly World. Everyone that I meet that I can call sis, you guys, y'all make it so worthwhile. Y'all make it so much more special. Y'all add that extra little mm to the hobby that is just exciting. Get to read you guys comments and comment on your videos and comment on your pictures. It's just wonderful. It's just wonderful. 
Okay, question number six. What toy, lovey blanket, or blanket does my baby have to always have? Him, he have to always have a toy. He doesn't have one right now because mommy is holding him, but sitting in his bed, he needs a toy. And he needs a toy that rattles or makes noise or squeaks or something because he is, he likes noise. Um, he's been in my room, so hubby daddy calls him Big Man. <laughs> So he's like, what you doing, big man? So he is his daddy's baby. They like noise. I just, I don't like noise. I like things quiet. Like on my phone, when I play my games, I play a lot of games. I don't have the sound on. And my husband, he plays his games and his games are loud. He watches TV. His TV is loud. Ooh, yeah. So there's that. Um... Toy, Jay, and Sky, as far as, as far as their toy, Lovey or Blanket, I switch out their Loveys about every two to three weeks um, just to change it up. They get infatuated with their toys. They play with them. Then they're like, oh, I'm over it. So I switch their toys out um, every two or three weeks. But Jay and Sky, they have to always keep their keys. Yeah, when we got Jay, Jay likes keys. So he would just, you know, I found him some keys. He would just rattle his keys. Now, normally, Sky is a very quiet baby, but their rooms are next to each other. So she would hear Jay rattling his keys. She would rattle her keys. So they're over there making music with their keys, having little jam sessions. It is so cute. They are so funny. So question number seven. This is the hardest question for me, you guys. If I had to pack up my reborn babies for three months, what would be my go-to hobby? So let me read what I wrote. <laughs> this question hurts my feelings a bit, got me in my feelings a bit, but I understand it because you guys, we need to be well-rounded. We need to have balance. Our babies can't be everything. We do have lives outside of our babies. So I do understand the question, but me personally, um, I really, really have to think about an answer because, okay. Honestly, I don't know. I don't know what to say. I want to say I would read because I really enjoy reading, but I read a lot right now. I mean, I go through a book every two days. So I don't know if I would read more. I don't know. Um, I would never, ever, 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 ever put my babies up especially not for three months mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. no I would not um my babies are my go-to hobby <laughs> and every other thing I do I squeeze it in or rotate it in around my babies I don't do much mm -mm. I don't do that much at all besides my babies I read I craft a little bit um I spend time with joy. I spend time with my family, but my babies, they're my, they're my hobby. I mean, they're my hobby. That, that's it. <laughs> and I do about three videos a week. So putting my babies up for 12 weeks, I can't even, I can't, that doesn't even compute to me. I can't even fathom that. I, I wouldn't know what to do with myself. I wouldn't know what to do with myself at all i'd be in here looking at the walls i don't <laughs> i don't even know <laughs> so um putting my babies up boxing them up is out of the question no 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 and i'm thinking about you know i'm getting ready to move i still can't box them up um my, my child doll that i've had for 35 years she's never been in a box ever Cozy has never been in a box in 20 years. Toy, when I moved here, she was not in a box. She traveled in the car with me. <laughs> it was Rosie and Sasha, me, Melinda, Cozy, and Toy. We were all in the car. That's how it's going to be. I'm just going to have more passengers this time when I move again, you guys. I can't box them up. I just, I just can't do it. I can't do it. 
So those are the seven questions, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed listening to my listening to my answers. I really, really enjoyed this. This was really, really fun. Um, um, all about reborn Nora. Her answer to the one um, word that describes her reborn babies is magical. So that's why the tag is reborn magic. You guys, um, I would appreciate it if you guys wanted to do the tag if you haven't already. You guys know I'm four months late, but I'm glad I finally found this tag. And to my sis, All About Reborn Nora, you guys, um, All About Reborn Nora, you did this tag before you got my handsome nephew, August. He is the cutest. I love when she does his little hair in a mohawk. But you didn't, um, you weren't really able to answer question four. So I would love to know your answer to question four now that you have more than one baby. <coughs> Something happened, Raja's barking. <laughs> Sorry about that, you guys. So those are my answers. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. I really, really appreciate it. And we will see you in the next video. You wanna say bye, man? You wanna say goodbye? Say bye, TTs. He is the cutest. <laughs>